If you have followed the previous video, the framework of the table has been assembled and you are now ready to start working on the tabletop. The two key steps are fixing the tabletop and finishing. Step 1. Fixing the tabletop. Stack and clamp the slats together as shown. Plane both sides so that they are flat and smooth. Place and center a single slat on top of the frame and mark the sides on the surface of the frame. Here we have 41 centimeters on either side of the apron. Clamp the slat in its centered position and place four more slats on one side of it so that they all have a uniform gap between them. The edge of the last slat should protrude past the edge of the frame by the same distance as the gap between the slats. Make spaces that hold the gap and proceed to mark the position of each slat. On the two aprons running parallel to the slats, mark the center point, followed by a point on either side, about a third of the way towards the center from the corners. These lines mark the positions of screws that will hold the end slats onto the frame. Now, mark the center of each of the inner slats for the position of the screws that will hold them down. Transfer the screw positions onto the inside face of the aprons. Set the scribe of a marking gauge to the center of an apron to mark the exact location of each screw. Punch holes at each point. Proceed to drill into each point, making sure to hold the drill vertically. Turn the frame over and transfer the screw positions onto the bottom edge of the aprons as shown. Proceed to drill a hole into each point. Hold the screw alongside the apron and mark the depth required for the screw tip to penetrate a centimeter into the slats. Apply a marking tape to set the one centimeter depth on a larger bit so that you can create a space for the head to sit flush in the wood. Use a chisel to clean up the mouth of the drilled holes. Before you start drilling, apply sealer on the edges of the slats and leave them to dry. Clamp the center slat into position. Turn the frame onto its side as shown and drive the screws into the slat from below the apron. Hold each successive slat in place using the spacers and screw them onto the frame through the drill holes. Use the spacer to mark the extra length that needs to be removed from the ends of the slats and extend the line across all the slats. Measure the distance from the blade of the circular saw to the edge of the sole plate. Here it is 3 cm. Mark 3 cm from the line marking the tip of the outer slats to mark the position of the fence that will guide the circular saw as it cuts through all the slats. Clamp the fence in place 
and proceed to saw the extra material from the ends of the slats. Use a router to chamfer the top edges at the end of the table. File the chamfered edges and round the corners. Step 2. Finishing. Apply sandpaper to smoothen the finish. Sand all surfaces of the table. Apply sealer on all surfaces and polish the tabletop if desired. To learn more, watch the video on how to polish wood. You now know how to make a table 